almost two months on the Moroccan seaside, we started to drive inland to discover all the aspects of this beautiful country. We arrived in the Painted Rocks Valley. It was a gorgeous place that was so peaceful and quiet that even flies were too loud. We spent a week there, contemplating the sky, the moon, and the stars over us, surrounded in isolation by the craggy landscape. We continued driving south, driving on twisty and extreme dirt roads that caught our fancy. We used the sun for our solar panel, solar shower, and from time to time for laundry. It worked well in Morocco's weather of clear skies. We then passed through the Atlas Mountains, coming across snow on our journey, which was the first time for us this year. We found some peaceful places to park for the night, waking up in the morning by listening to the calls of goats and sheep around us. We drove down to Marrakesh, where Armando's best friend Pablo and his girlfriend Mara had flown in for a short but really intense visit. Finally! It was really nice to see them and spend some quality time together in a Riyadh. A Riyadh is a typical Moroccan-designed house that has an open roof with a courtyard. Marrakesh was a confusing mix of tourism, including small monkeys and snake charmers, and daily city life. The vast amount of noise and scooter exhaust left us pretty exhausted. Back on the road again, we made our way towards the south of the country. Passing again through the Atlas Mountains, where we stopped in Ait Ben Hadou and Warzazata. Both are famous places for movies and film production. We kept going, meeting up with Mike again on the way and parked next to a small lake. That morning, we were all woken up by a herd of camels getting their fill of water. We finally arrived in Zagora, near the desert gates. We had an amazing time visiting the Sahara and staying in Berber tents, thanks to Caravan Sud and their desert tour. We decided to spend a few more days next to their smaller camp, surrounded only by tranquility and sand dunes. By then our time was almost finished in Morocco, and it was just a week before our visas expired. Traveling back to the north, we stopped again in Ziggy's hometown of Tagazout for Armando to catch his last Moroccan waves. As we got closer to the ferry port, we realized we were back in the green part of the country. It was refreshing, somehow, all of those fields and trees. Mork boarded the ferry and we watched from the deck as Africa grew smaller and further away. But we'll keep our memories of Morocco close, especially thanks to our fantastic fellow traveler, Ziggy. We are happy to be back in the EU and our timing is perfect. It's spring. To stay tuned, subscribe to our website and our social media to join our full-time van life travels.